on a legit level. My homeboy. All right, this is my homeboy Daniel. He's actually making it. Y'all might know him as Diesel. Hey. This is new spot. New Dab. Dab's for Long Beach. For Long Beach, man. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. So, when did you guys get this spot, bro? Uh, man, probably about like, like a year and a half ago. But we opened like a year ago. All right. And then, um, uh oh, we got a customer. No shit. Howdy, howdy. Hello, hello. Uh, we got a customer. A nice little headshot. <laughs> yeah. So this is the spot, bro. Yeah. Yo. So, yeah. Had opened it about like a year ago, and then we tried to hire employees and stuff like that. But you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? Just had to get in this motherfucker, my damn self. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh oh, Diesel and Well now's rough. Right, on bro. all platforms. <laughs> on all platforms, goddamn. We're in the spot. Alright, man. So we been, you know, we've been knowing you for a little bit now personally. Uh it's been a minute. We've seen you making moves out here, shaking ground, making some fucking noise out here. So uh, you know, to let us know, bro, where's the shop at with the hours? Okay, yeah, 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 man. You know, it's a little head shop. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no little head shop. Anything we do is big. Major, you know. <laughs> Majorly big. You know what I'm saying? Y'all boy stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? We're at Dabs Fort Walton Beach in Fort Walton Beach. And, you know what I'm saying? It's on 107C South Street. It's South Avenue. Don't go on street. It's 107 South Avenue. South Avenue. Yeah. Like a Mexican restaurant. Y'all see it. Yeah. Right next to the Lucky Devil Tattoo in the bake shop. I'm in the same plaza as them. You know what I'm saying? We rocking it over here. Uh, yeah. Big things over here, man. Y'all pull up, man. Yeah, pull man. Up. Yeah, I'm glad y'all came through, bro. It's been a minute. Yeah, yeah man. man. Great seeing y'all, too, yeah. man. Glad to see y'all on y'all Dean, too, man. Yeah. 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 No. Man. When the smoke yeah. clears, y'all follow that, yeah. man. For yeah. real. Yeah. 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 Tell us a little bit about Daniel from the Diesel, you know what I'm saying? You, you grew up around here? Yes, yes. Sure. Fort Walton Beach. Uh, 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 born and raised, man. You know born what I'm raised. saying? Sure. How was growing up in Fort Walton? Ah, man. It was great, bro. You know what I'm saying? It has its ups and downs, you know? But, what, you know, look where it brings you, you know? Ownership, man. Tell us yeah. something about Fort Walton people might not know. Ah, man. We're slept on. Fort Walton yeah. is slept on Little City. Right? Yeah, but uh, come on vacation, leave on probation. That's all I can charge is on you. It can be yeah, yeah, no, hey, that's yeah. all on you, man. Yeah, man. So, yeah. yeah that's that's what I can tell you. <laughs> I'm the funky poor, baby. <laughs> all right. All right. You went to, so, which high school did you go to? I went to Choctaw. 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 Big Green. Yeah. Oh, big Green. Did you go to Bruno? Yeah, I went to Bruno because of my grandma. They, I got kicked out of Megs. Okay, okay. No, only I had to get out of that school district, and then so I just moved over to my grandma house. And I was staying with my grandma for my middle school years because um, I had got into a fight and then got kicked out. So uh, of Megs, and then. Started going to Bruner, yeah. Oh, when God, I man. when I linked up with Nasty, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, I went there the, um, for my middle school years, and uh, yeah, that was there. Then you went on the chalked off from there. Went on the chalked off from there. So I was I was high school chalked. I was school chalked. Was it short? Yeah, it, it was it was it was chalked off. <laughs> If yeah. you know, you know. You know, it was shot up. 
we did our thing. Mm -hmm. Did you end up graduating from Choctaw? Nah, I didn't. Nah, I got kicked out of there too. Uh, on some humbug stuff, man. They just wanted me out of the school system, I feel. Yeah. But you did go on, you went on, you did go get your, your shit from Northwest Florida, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, GED, I dropped out of that shit too. I got like my college credit, I was starting getting college credits at O-Dub, what is now um, Northwest Florida, I guess. And um, I was there when I had got out of a program, I had went to a program and they was telling me like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're working up college credits because you're taking college courses while you're in this program. And then so like you can take these college credits to college if you just drop out. They roll over to college? Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I was like fucking 16, 17 in college and shit. So like, oh, like, hell yeah. It's the bomb. <laughs> and then they sent me a credit card. I was like, this is extra dumb. So check me out. So like, they give me this gold card with a $600 limit, right? I'm like 16, 17. So. That's big money for a Big cat. money for a 16, 17. So like, yeah. So um, uh, I get, uh, I call the place. Asked for the last four of my social, for the last four of my social, give them the last four. They said the card was activated. I was like, so I can go to an ATM right now at this point in time and get anywhere from one cent to 600 bucks. And it was like, yes, sir. Run that shit. And then so I went to the my way <laughs> ATM, snatched me out of quick to one yeah, Got me a big dog a bottle of Bel Belvedere. Oh. Me and the homies out there in Panama City PC. turning all the way up. It man. goes down in peace. Oh yes. If you don't know, mm -hmm. uh when was I sixteen? I caught my first baby mama. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no no Straight no like that. <laughs> Man, man, that's where the 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 the, uh, the, the originator of Girls Gone Wild, my nah, guy. You know real. what I'm saying? Like, that is that, that, like real deal, show. man. Real that dude life. was catching charges out there. He was <laughs> loving it so much, <laughs> bro. Yeah, I'm no lie, man. No gang, no <laughs> cap, no 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 none of that. <laughs> no no uh, rap cap. <laughs> <laughs> no rap <laughs> snacks. Oh well, I like the rap snacks. You know what I mean? So I'm rap snacks. But uh, yeah, man, they gave me some money, and I was turned up. Yeah. Establish some credit early. Yeah. Which is important. Very true, man. If a motherfucker tell you don't need credit throughout life, they's a damn lie. Cancel that shit. Real. Jump on it early. Jump on it early. Early. Very early. <laughs> yeah. So um Yep, started establishing credit early. Didn't even know. And um That's what's up. It's a little buzzer. Yeah. After that, you went to, you didn't stay in Fort Walton forever, did you? You went, you traveled to Atlanta for a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I moved to, to the A for a little bit. You got into graphic design <coughs> there? Yes. Tell us about that. Yes, yes, yes. So, I had, um, went out there, and big shouts out to, uh, Miss, um, Miss Virginia, um, she's a realtor out there, and she's uh, an entrepreneur, you know, and she was just wanting to teach the younger bread, like, how to get bread, and, like, she was, like, I had went out there, and, like, I got me a place through her, and she was, like, teaching me how to manage my money, and, like, where the focus is at and stuff and like I told her about my print business and my clothing line and she like like didn't see an opportunity but just like wanted to help you know what I'm saying so That's shout out Miss Virginia you know what I'm saying you're my baby girl I love you Miss Virginia you know, that Ms. was Virginia, love you know what I'm saying love. like 
Like, yeah, she's she's a beast out there, man. She's been a beast for a very long time. She's done mess with, like, did real state, real, like, shit for fucking Darnell Jones. She mm-hmm. hang out with Jay Z. She's got her hands and, in the pot. Yeah, she okay. she's big time. You know what I'm saying? So she's cool as ever, man. Cooler than the ceiling fan. <laughs> and my um, she put me down with a lot of people. Like the her handyman is Black's dad. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you know that the dude for me, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? She was like, Oh yeah, yeah, you need to hook up with him and he'll put you down with his son. I'm like, Oh, I ain't that big yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, but he was just starting and he was he was, you know what I'm saying, drop that uh that uh that that remix to uh the future song. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah he did one? that. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I can't remember. It was, I was like his first big one. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, it was big. Yeah, we need more people out like that. I want to help the youth. Yes, you know, know what I'm saying? Thanks, yeah, bro. And she's really about that. Mm-hmm. She put me down with uh, brokers, down uh, uh, insurance agents. Like, dog, she... She, she like she just and she'll show you the path, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be able to walk that path. You know what I'm saying? Like she'll she'll let you know. And then if you're like taking advantage of like what she's got, you know what I'm saying? Like what she's starting to teach you, she'll just walk away from it. You know what I'm saying? But she's seen I was for real, and you know what I'm saying. Put me down with a lot of people. I met her through my auntie Amina Harris. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out Amina Harris. You know, she she's a CNA out there, uh, in home nurse, and she's doing her thing. Shout out Ifa, you know, um, you know that uh, she's doing big things out there too. Uh, we gonna tag her, you know. And, uh, uh, yeah, my auntie put me down with some good people when I hit Atlanta. That's why I made the move because I had family out there and I knew it would been you know be an easy move. It's like my easy move. It's like my family already is out there. My family knows people out there. Yeah. So like we um It was a smooth transition for four months by mm-hmm. And so like did that I heard well, you said something about clothing. Did yeah, my clothing you? line. I started my clothing line out there and then like that's when um <clears throat> Miss uh, Virginia introduced me to my homeboy KP. Shouts out KP with more than T's. Um, that's my big homie. You know, uh, you know what I'm saying? The one that printed up some of the the, the first Yacht Boy clothing. You know what I'm saying? The original prints. You know what I'm saying? Shout out KP. More than more than T's. More than T's. You know what I'm saying? We tagging you in here too. So uh, KP, my homeboy, <laughs> big East Coast homie, man. Yeah, my dog hard as hell, and he introduced me to my homeboy E, the Ego Graphics. You know what I'm saying, my homeboy Eric. And then that's how I got into the graphic designing. You know what I'm saying? Because like I was like figuring, you know, if I'm gonna be buying, spending thousands of dollars on just a couple shirts, you know, or it might not a couple because my homeboy KP was looking out. You know what I'm saying? He was giving me, you know, what I'm saying? like. We would just look out for each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever, like, he would just give me the shit at cost, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, he he seen the vision that I had and how enthused I was about it, you know what I'm saying? He was like, bruh, like, shit, man, just take me along with you, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, it it wasn't even, yeah, real good people, man. It wasn't even really about no bread, you know what I'm saying? He was just about the the movement, man, so, yeah, helping support. Networking is. Exactly, you know bro. Saying? It's not about yeah. what you know, it's about who you know. You know what I'm saying? It, that can take you very far. Of course, as long as I've known you, bro, you know everything. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're fucking all the crowds. Yeah. All the crowds. Yeah, man. You, you know? Like, hey. Charismatic as fuck. Yeah, yeah. One of the most charismatic people I know, bro. Thank you, bro. That's real. He's a character, man, and he's good people. Big fucking heart. Yeah, Big yeah. heart, bro. He's putting on for, for four walls. Yes, yes love, man. it's my my city, man. Real shit. You need that. So you yeah. mentioned investing earlier, man. What other investments you got going on? Man? Uh, man, I got the clothing line. We're doing the ECPMP. That's our production company. 
Boomer Coast Promotions and Productions. Um, we got uh, we we got just a little miscellaneous stuff. We got down Fresh Washing Company. You know, we got uh, get them sprayed. Don't forget to get them sprayed. You know what I'm <laughs> Yeah, you know, then we spray it with pressure washers, bro. You know, so, so like you know, like we clean that shit up. You know what I'm Don't get cleaned up though. Don't get it twisted. What about, what about we picked up or we dropped off at cryptocurrency? Homie was letting us know that he, he had put some money in and it was jumping. We left off at um how much you were initially invested in? Like a thousand bucks. That's a and then jump. Like, yeah, and then it jumped like crazy. Did you pull out? Pull out right away? Nah, I didn't pull out right away. Like, um, we jumped to its peak, and I started seeing it come down, so I took out like three Ethereum. Of what the coin was worth. Okay. Y'all do the math. Y'all do the math. Yeah, right. whatever. Three Ethereum was at that point in time. Got that back. Went straight into my checkings account. Right. Yay, yay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's, what's the coin you invested in? Talk about the coin you invested in. Uh, Musketeers, man. Musketeers. Right. We was talking about Musketeers the other day. And you had brought up a, a game? Yes. A game. I guess they, they, like, you know, they got a game coming out. And it, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be pretty live, man. So, you play to earn, right? Yeah. You, play to earn. you uh, how much is it to be in the player? Is it free to play? You gotta put some coins Well, down. Cecil, like, um, yeah, it's just like, like one of them Roblox games. Yeah, yeah, the metaverse stuff. Yeah. It's like you can like, you know, buy shit with the coins you have. Like buy land actual stuff and then build your own shit. Like so so like this is gonna be live, bro. It's gonna be hard as fuck, you know. Shout out to Musketeers, y'all. Shout out Musketeers, that. man. You know, get your fun. muskets up. <laughs> Nas, you said something about uh, <coughs> NFT. You know anything about NFT? Not really, man, but I really would like to get into it. I, I've seen a little bit here and there on other podcasts and stuff, but I, I don't know much about it. Definitely something to get into. You know, know about it? Yeah, yeah it's going to have, have main utility in the metaverse, so, you know, you're going to be able to play different games in the metaverse and do different things, and in order to play certain games, you're going to need certain NFTs. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to be able to earn money playing games when you're involved mm -hmm. with it. Earn NFTs, trade them, sell them, you know what I mean? So and the NFTs hold cash value. Yeah, non fungible token. Yeah. Okay, token. Damn, putting the boy on. I don't know. Yeah. So, when when did you decide to come back to Fort Walton and open up this place? How'd that go about? Alright, well, okay. Um, when I came back, like, I was just, you know, really focused on my clothing line. And, uh, Yacht Boy. Yacht Boy Clothing. Yes, shout out Yacht Boy Clothing. Um, I was just really focused on that for the most part. Well, actually learning how to use this $30,000 printer that I had bought. So um, you got real money invested into this. Yeah. He, so. is, he is not messing around. He's a bad one. Yeah, so I had bought a printer and, you know, I didn't even know how to use it for the first two years I had it. So I messed it up, you know, and oh, had to pay man. another five bands to get it fixed. And once I got it fixed, <clears throat> after paying five grand to get it fixed, I wanted to learn it, you know what I'm saying, yeah. learn how to work on it and use it and stuff. So they do these online classes when you buy the printer I and mean, so or you can go to one of the places they have it's like Tampa and uh, somewhere up north I forgot um, you um, can take the classes or you can do 
the what's that? God, those things where you uh, a webinar. Oh, webinar. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, they do webinars and all that crazy stuff. Okay. That's lit. So I did a webinar. Okay, and then so you got back and you had you had linked up with some homies and came up with this idea for that, huh? Yes, man. My homeboy Clint Moreland. Uh, owner of DNG Graphics, um, he and my homeboy Ian Christensen, owner of Downtown Music Hall, uh, had came up with Daps for Walton Beach, and they were telling me about it, and they were getting started and all that good stuff, and then so like as they were getting started, it was like, hey man need to sell some shirts out of the store, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I like, you know, they wanted me to sell Yacht Boy out of Dabs. Okay. So I was like, heck yeah, man, I'm down for that. Yeah. And then later on, like, you know, became a partner. And like... Now you're the face of this place, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So when y'all pull up, you will see this man. Yes, sir. Say what up. Pull up on this dude. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. The place is dope. You know, we'll show you in the videos. The merch, you'll, his shirts, you'll see them in the video. That's, I mean, you got anything else to say about crypto and investments? Um, Cause I know that's popping right now. And yes. A lot of young cats our age are trying to jump in. Mm -hmm. Get into it, man. White, it's you good said, money. Pay attention to white sheets, and that'll tell you. White lists. White lists, okay. Yeah. That'll tell you kind of what what, what you're now. buying into, you know what I'm saying, what the crypto is about, what the crypto, where where your money is going to. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just buy into something and not know where your money's mm -hmm. going. So this like, it's like pinpoints of where your money's going. How, how do you even, how do you, if I wanted to buy some crypto, world, I don't even know where to go. Is that app or something? Mm-hmm. Okay, so just download Musketeer funds or whatever. Um, just Google Musketeer Cryptos and uh, it'll take you straight to their website and then it tells, shows you a really easy video or the steps on how to purchase the coin and uh, yeah. So that's something you would recommend for sure. Mm -hmm. jump, jump in. Take the risk. Man. Yes. Take the risk. I'm going to do it. I'm going to look into it. Are you into it yet? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, so you're into it. Nah, I'm sleeping. Nah, I'm sleeping. Sleep. I need to wake up. Uh, yes, they won't. <laughs> All right, man. Well, y'all have it. Dabs for Walton Beach, bro. You got any shout outs? Yes, man. Shout out to DNG Graphics. Shout out Downtown Music Hall. Shout out Frankie Flex. Shout out Nasty Now. Shout out motherfucking my dog Ant. Shout out When the Smoke Clears. Shout out. Damn, bro. Like, man, there's so many more. If I forgot, man, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Shout out Drip Boutique. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Kiki Hard as fuck, man. Yeah, like, man check she, out. We're she, gonna have she, she killing it. All the tags in, in this video. Y'all get them. Yeah, I'll Link y'all to everybody you need the link to. All right, man. Well, this is fun, bro. This is fun. Good scene. I'm talking about, man. Yeah. 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 Make the idiot respect this shit. No option. No. Two shots to the end, I'm saving up all of my pennies. I'ma be rich in a minute. I finished the same way I came. By myself, I was made. By myself, so I'm self made. I'm compass me, just my mind's ascended. Past the rhymes and all the gimmicks. To start the limit. Life is fast like a life. If you blink, if you miss it. Still on this mission like TMZ. What would you do if you was me? Everybody that you knew didn't believe. Gotta stay on your Q's and P's Then I look in the mirror, I see the G What does it really mean to be free financially, spiritually, and mentally? I, I left everything up on the shelf Success, you know I'm following the stealth These niggas trying to play me to the left I'm official with my stripes just like a rap I'ma grind it till there's nothing really left You come from the bottom, you seen that This money's my mind with a green ass Better have it on you in the field Cause you know it's kill to be killed Nigga already know the drill I don't really fucking need a deal Cause you know my verses get killed Bitch I took my lick and I ain't squeal No switching cause a nigga too real
better have it on you in the field Cause you know it's kill to be killed Nigga already know the drill I don't really fucking need a deal Cause you know my first is to kill Bitch I took my lick and I ain't squeal I'm switching cause a nigga too real Better have it on you in the field Cause you know it's kill to be killed Nigga already know the drill I don't really fucking need a deal Cause you know my verse is the kill Bitch I took my lick and I ain't squeal I'm switching cause a nigga too real You know, draw it into a shot, but we don't have the, you know, here we go. Slam! Oh, shit. Salute. Salute, fellas. Oh, yeah, new money. Better have it on you in the field, cause you know it's kill to be killed. Nigga already know the drill. I don't really fucking need a deal, cause you know my first is the kill. Bitch, I took my lick and I ain't squeal. I'm switching cause a nigga too real. Better have it on you in the field, cause you know it's kill to be killed. Nigga already know the drill. I don't really fucking need a deal, cause you know my verses be killed. Bitch, I took my lick and I ain't squeal. I'm switching cause a nigga too.